So, granulation mediums. What are they and what do they do? I'm going to give you a little rundown on these. Okay, so first off we have the iridescent medium. This would be this right here. It's very thick, very glittery. So for the iridescent medium, produces iridescent effects. As you can see in the light, how shiny it is. So, whoops, I, with this, I just painted the iridescent medium on just by itself on top of the watercolor. And then with the other ones, I mixed them in, as you can see. I used the quinacridone, uh, quinacridone magenta and dioxazine purple for those. Very shimmery if you like painting unicorns or anything like that. It's a really great medium to have. Okay, so moving on to lifting preparation. For these two examples, I used um, Winsor Newton Cotman Emerald and then an M. Graham Permanent Eliz Crimson. Um, the crimson is very difficult to get up without the lifting preparation, but with the prepar lifting preparation, you can see I just managed to soak a lot of that up. Um, so the lifting preparation, this is what it looks like. It allows color washes to be removed more easily. Okay, so moving on now to the granulation medium. Some colors are granulating, like this cerulean blue that I decided to use. Um, if you can see the granulation by itself, it already granulates. But when you add the fluid to it, it makes it more granulated. And see, like with this um, Prussian blue that I used, it's not very granulating before I added it, the fluid. But then, now that I've added the fluid, can you see the granulation come out? So, it'll make even non-granulating colors granulated. So this is the granulation medium. We're moving on to oxgall liquid. Now, a lot of people don't like to use this because it is derived from an animal but it increases wetting and flow. And they do make synthetic. I know Core makes a synthetic ox gall. The one I have is made from animals, unfortunately, but uh, it's the Windsor Newton, but you can buy synthetic. Um, so it increases the wetting and flow, as I said. So you'll just get this very nice flowy, with this uh, red, I believe that's a Magello Rose Matter and uh, this Sennelay, um French Ultramarine Blue. Um, as you can see, it really did increase the flow quite a bit. Um, it also allows your paper um, to stay wet a little longer so you can work with it before it dries. Um, and now we're gonna move on to the Gum Arabic. It increases transparency, brilliance, and gloss. And I don't know if you can see here in the camera, but it is shiny. I don't think the camera is going to take. Oh, there we go. See where it's shining with the green right there um, and the orange. I'm hitting the light just right now. Okay, so you can see how it's kind of shiny. So the gum Arabic will do that. And you can also use gum Arabic kind of as a mask if you would like to do as well. Um, so this is the gum Arabic. And finally, we're moving on to the masking fluid. Um, you just, I like to use the pins. You just draw on there and let it dry and then you paint over it. And then you just peel away the excess with your finger, leaving these white spots. Uh, to where the ink did not flow. It's really good for protecting your whites. Uh, 
So yeah, that's a rundown on these mediums. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I do apologize for all my ums. I'm not the best at doing videos, but I hope you enjoyed this rundown on these mediums and that you might want to go and get a couple yourself to try them out. This was really fun.